KZ Sportsman 242 Bunkhouse Camper here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is kind of cool. Uh, here's their trade-in camper, and the only thing wrong with it is nothing. This is a great camper. Here's the one that they're trading in. You know, the question is, why are they swapping one out for the other? Long story short, this is a little bunkhouse camper, and the kids are all grown up. The kids have grown up, uh, they don't need a bunkhouse anymore, and they swapped it out for a gorgeous, ultralight, real living super slide white hawk here from Halid RV. Um, these folks are from out of town. They made a little bit of a drive to come down to us because we treated them right on their trade. So if you're curious, we could probably do the same for you. We do hitching trades, pieces, parts, financing, everything. Um, fantastically well kept camper inside and out. I mean, it's been cleaned. It's uh, obviously been stored uh, away from the sun quite a bit because uh, if you start taking a look at the decals and whatnot, they're in good shape. Um, <clears throat> I like seeing the full diamond plate up front here. A lot of um, family class campers have been uh, skimping on that in recent years. Uh, I like the extra large baggage door that we have here up front so that you actually have some good storage space for all your stuff. Again, uh, well taken care of. This does have little preventative maintenance items like the mud dauber screens here. Those are really important so that like, you know, hornets, wasps, whatever, they don't sneak in there and a nice little warm tube, which is the kind of environment insects like that really enjoy. While they're little papery nests, if they hit a spark or a flame, they're going to go up in flames and you're going to have a very bad day. That's obviously not the idea that you want to get involved in. Um, nice uh, U-Dinette slide out to give you uh, a good living space. But easy towing. This thing is small, lightweight, well kept. If you've never had a camper before, if your family getting started, this one, call right away. This is not going to last long. This is a hyper popular floor plan that, I mean, in in a, uh, a family class, like starter camper like this, in a upscale, extremely high-end, well-appointed, lightweight, in anything, this thing sells in a heartbeat. We have trouble keeping them on stock. And actually, in our new campers, we have this on permanent reorder status. Now what's great is this little camper has lots of sleeping, it has good space. Wow, that sofa slide out right there, pardon me, the dinette slide out is going to give us all this open walking space. So you're not going to have to sh do the, um, what I call the travel trailer shuffle where you're sliding past one another to try to, you know, get past the guy in the kitchen to get to the bathroom or something like that. Dinette here can fold down into an extra sleeping space. That will give you, uh, you know, if the kids want to bring friends or something, that'll give you that extra space that you need, though. With the bunkhouse arrangement here, you may not need to. There is a super cool flat screen uh, mount that they put up here. And so that it didn't scar the trailer, they left the mount in. And you can see that they didn't have to, like, try or they didn't accidentally rip the TV uh, mount out of the cabinet a few times. These folks did a good job of anything they did, and they took good care of it. Uh, a mount like that's going to cost you a couple dollars. Now, uh, you know, if you can sleep a bunch of people, you got to feed a bunch of people. So there's a good-sized pantry in here, give you uh, plenty for a weekend trip. We do have a, a full-size six cubic foot refrigerator and freezer, uh, which is um, any smaller than this, and you lose the separate freezer. So they definitely planned that out well. A uh, good-sized bathroom, and where I will give KZ credit is they always dress the bathroom up just just enough to make it really kind of sharp here like the little wall accent wall paneling back here that was sharp it's easy it's inexpensive but it looks good and it performs well um the good leg room here by the way if you're a bigger person in the shower you're not gonna have problems the um bunkhouse arrangement here currently in today's market what you're going to find is a double bunk on bottom and a double bunk on top. They sacrifice this little storage area here. This is what I call a Jack and Jill bunk arrangement. I don't know if that's the technical name, but everyone seems to know what that means. Um, it, uh, it This is the way that things were built for so long, and it's very effective. It does grant you additional storage space up here, and it's also because the bunks are offset. The upper bunk, good for a big kid. They can climb themselves up there. You don't have to like throw kids to the upper bunk. Um, that's actually one of the questions we get on the double bunk set up today is how do the kids get upstairs? And most of the time you got to throw them. Most manufacturers don't include ladders, so that's not a problem in this camper. Again, they, they wasted no space in this camper. Every ounce of space is used intelligently. Um, this camper does not have central air, but it's basically a one cabin camper. You don't really need central air. Um, and, I mean, you know, it never hurts. But I don't know that it's necessarily beneficial in this model. Uh, we have the his and hers wardrobes on both sides of the bed here. Uh, you know, and I love this little this little decorative curtain right above the bed. It's it's minor, 
but it's unusual. It's not common, and it does look good. It definitely, you know, sets the tone for this thing. But like I said, the only thing wrong with this one is nothing. This is in great shape if uh, you're upgrading from a pop-up, if uh, you've never had a camper, if you're looking to start camping or do a little camping, maybe have a grandkid or a guest or hunting buddy or something like that. This is a perfect model. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.